Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to uh, show you how to edit an existing Google Calendar. So if you've got a Google Calendar that somebody's already set up uh, for you or maybe uh, where you work you've inherited a Google Calendar, uh, this is an easy way to go in there and edit it and fix it up and uh, make changes uh, to the calendar. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to go to google.com, so www.google.com. You hit enter, and that'll get you in here. Now, uh, the next thing you want to do is get to your Google Calendar. So type in a search for Google Calendar. Hit enter. And then go in there into Google Calendar. And since you already have an account, you don't have to create it. You need to go in here, though, and uh, you know si sign in. Or if you click on Calendar Home, that'll do the same thing. You'll go ahead and go uh, to the point where you got your login. Put your login credentials in there. And then your password. And you have an option to stay signed in. I have multiple accounts, so I usually don't try to stay signed in. Just my personal preference. So go ahead and sign in. This brings you into your Google account, into your Google Calendar. And what you want to do, uh, normally I go into Month View to do some edits. And then in Month View, you can go in here and uh, you can uh, make your changes. Let's say uh, today is the 31st. Let's say uh, this evening I've got a meeting uh, with, a, with a, a client named Bob. So uh, all I have to do to go in here and put a, uh, an event in here is click on create event and it comes up and it uh, uh, you know gives you options here. Uh, the assumption a lot of times is that it's an all-day all day event but in this case uh, it's already set for the time that uh, a time that is in the future uh, you'll notice the Google Calendar never gives you a time in the past, but let's say I'm meeting with uh, with Bob from 7:30 to let's say uh, 9:30 p.m. We've got a lot of different business things to take care of, and uh, then I'm going to meet with him uh, at Denny's. So. Okay, helps, helps, helps if I spell restaurant correctly. And uh, uh, for, for the event itself, we'll click here to add a title. And I can go in here and say uh, meeting with Bob. Um, maybe we're going to talk about his uh, website. Okay, so I've got that in there. And then I go down here in the description area and I can put inf important information such as um, bring um, examples of layout ideas And so I've got my information in there about my, my particular uh, instance here. And so I've got it in there. All I have to do is click on Save. It will save that. Notice it's down, down here in my calendar. If I need to make changes to it, all I have to do is click on that event. It brings it up. Uh, it looks like it's still saving some changes across the uh, network. But anyway, uh, once I've got it in here, once uh, my information is in here, I can click on that and then go forward and uh, make changes to it. Now, let's say I've got an, another appointment uh, on the 2nd of September. And uh, again, it's going to be another meeting with Bob. And I'm going to finalize, oops, Bob, helps to spell Bob correctly. And we're going to finalize details of his website. Okay, so I've got that in there. I click on create create event. Okay, and now I can click on that and it will allow me to edit the event details. I can now go in here and let's say we're going to meet at Bob's office. And then uh, let's say for the uh, description, 
uh, finalize layout and uh, requirements for site. Okay, so I've got that in there. All I've got to do now is to go ahead and save it. I've saved that. Now that one is there. And so I now have, uh, I can click on it at any given point in time and edit it uh, to my heart's content. Um, if I go over here and now edit event details, notice that one did finally save. But you notice there's two ways I could put this stuff in. I can either click in the, the cell or just tell it, you know, with the cell highlighted, I want to uh, go in there and create an event on this date. Now, let's say during this uh, meeting, this first meeting with Bob, we actually get everything done. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to have any changes. I'm going to go in here, though, and I want to cancel this event uh, that's over here on the second because we've got everything squared away. We're going to go ahead and, and proceed with the project. So I'm going to click over here, and I'm going to uh, edit. I can either edit event details and delete it, or I can click on the delete option. And uh, so, uh, if, you know, if you go in here and you're looking at the stuff, well, everything that was supposed to be done is done. Uh, we're going to go ahead and delete it. So I click on delete, and that event is gone. So it's that easy to add a, an event, that easy to delete an event. Uh, you also have support for uh, repeating events, and uh, you can also, uh, it has support for things such as, uh, uh, Microsoft Outlook and a few other uh, tools out there. So you can literally put this stuff anywhere. You can also embed uh, a calendar in a web page. It's really easy to do. Uh, works real well and that way uh, if you've got your calendar uh, out there visible to the world uh, you literally can have it uh, to where it shows up on a website. You can also base, uh, restrict uh, the access to it and get, uh, set it to where certain users have access and then just make it to where those people can see everything. So that's about it. Um, so always make sure whenever you're finished, uh, click on sign out and get out of there. And uh, that way you uh, keep everything nice and secure. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a great day.